Now, the, the African-American students statewide, their numbers were even lower mm -hmm. than their Latino counterparts. 28% in English, 18% uh, mm -hmm. in math. Yeah. Um, so I think we... And let me tell you, we've got a slideshow of the many faces of Patricia Locke Dawson, what she really looks like. And you know what's really interesting? I have never met this woman before. All I know was I asked some friends of mine, you know, who she was, you know, what she looked like, and the way they described her didn't look like this. Right here, she looks almost, she looks almost like, I don't know, maybe 2930 here, not Patricia. Stop, stop it. Okay, many of you know that I am a skincare expert. Oh yes, I am the expert. And when I saw these photos, I could not believe it. I went online to take another look at her. So this is a problem that I have with her already. Just the fact that she cannot put her real image on these brochures. Yes. You know, when people come to the council and they're going to look for the mayor, they're not going to see this Patricia. They're going to see Grandma Patricia. Oh, yeah. They're going to see something different than these photos. So I had to really sit there and think, what, what is this woman really all about? Okay. So we have this clip of her where she's literally tr trivializing the uh, school scores in 2016. So in 2016, she's talking about the school district scores and she's literally saying that we're average. And so Brad Pomerantz is like, like, uh, these scores are really bad. And she goes, well, I don't mean to trivialize this, but it's the test. It's not me. It's not my board. It's not anybody. It's the test. It's new. It's new. Oh, yes. And we, and then she goes into this detail and he, he lays out, you know, all these scores. And the results came out and they weren't that good. Is that a fair way to describe it? If I can use a non-SAT word, they uh, weren't that good? <laughs> well, you know what, they were, there was a mixed bag across the state, actually, and uh, we, Riverside Unified was pretty much squarely in, this, in the okay. middle. We were average, so we weren't very low, we weren't right. terribly high either. And in certain subsets, we did right. better than others. But so. let's talk about what that average was. Overall, for all grades, all ethnicities, all eco economic groups, 44% of students met English language arts standards. 33% mm -hmm. met math standards. Mm -hmm. Th that's, that's tough. I mean, those numbers are not what I would want to see. Yeah. And then they get into the African-American scores. And she talks about this heritage program that they started and it's counseling and it gets African-American students ready for college. And she states this, she says, we have had a lot of success with it. And then he stops and he goes, but their scores are 21% in English and 18% in math. And I'm like, okay. In fact, Riverside Unified launched an initiative last year called the Heritage Program. Mm -hmm. Yes, our, I'm familiar with it. At the yes. African American students right. in our district. And it was a very much targeted one-on-one -on -one, um, counseling and um, person to person to get these kids through high school and into college. And they were, and we've had a lot of success with it. Now the, the African American students statewide, their numbers were even lower mm -hmm. than their Latino counterparts. 28% in English, 18% uh, mm -hmm. in math. Yeah. Um, so I think we... Is she, she, is she just a, a normal politician that we're just gonna get another lying politician? 
because that's exactly what she did. She is saying this program is successful when these scores are way below average, way below average. And then in the next clip we have of her, this was 2016, and then in the clip we have of her of 2017, she says Riverside has some of the best schools in the state. We have some of the best schools in the state with some of the best programs, and we don't get that alone. We get that in partnership with our businesses here in town and our, our academic institutions. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Patricia. That is another lie, okay? Riverside does not have any best schools in the state of California. You said before, we are average. We're not even above average or a little bit above average. So then I was watching Rusty Bailey's State of the City address and he goes, we are graduating 97% of our students or I don't know what he said, 94%. And so I went to my sources and they go, yeah, because they've, um, what did they say? They said, because they've lowered the standard. Yeah, they lowered the standard. So here you go. You get a politician, a female politician who doesn't even look like this brochure. No way, no how. Let me, I'll, we're going to show you the many faces of Patricia Locke Dawson, and this is not one of them. I, I would be ashamed if I had this brochure. I, I would literally be ashamed. Uh, yeah. Um, not only is she lying in her photos, she's lying about the school scores. She's lying that we have the best schools in the state, and she is the perfect candidate to be endorsed by Rusty Bailey and Mayor Ron Loveridge, ex-Mayor Ron Loveridge. And let me tell you, this is what I think. I think that if we continue to vote the same way Ron Loveridge, Rusty Bailey, and now Patricia Locke Dawson, you are going to get the same result. Yes, you are. You're gonna get zero quality of life. What she is preaching, she is preaching Rusty Bailey's message. She is handpicked by Mr. Bailey. She is bought and paid for by the Firemen's Union. Oh yeah, and all she's gonna do is continue to take care of the employees. She could care less about the public. Absolutely. It's clear her, I don't know, eight or 10 years on the school board, she did Zippo to increase the grades here. No, they just lowered the standards. You are just exchanging one rotten politician for another. And if you do that, you deserve what you get. Let me tell you, there are two propositions on our ballot, 13 and 14, that is going to tax you more. More are coming. The County of Riverside wants a tax. The state of California wants another tax. Just open your pocketbook and give them your money. These people need to be held accountable for what they've done. They are ripping you off. Okay, that's my rant for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm back from vacation for a little while.